This week we're rebuilding Hamburg. Founded 136 years ago, Hamburg is the quintessential fallen giant of German football. After relegation from the top flight in 2018, they have failed to make a return that many would have expected. In their proud history, they have won six league titles, three pockles, and even the European Cup back in 1983. Kevin Keegan also won the Ballon d'Or back-to-back -back whilst playing for the German outfit back in 1978 and 1979. Our mission is to return Hamburg back into the top five German football, challenging for the title, challenging for Pockles, and maybe even challenging for a cheeky Champions League. Let's see how we get on. Eyebrows raised way up high. We have taken over as Hamburg manager. Now, we are predicted to win, so I don't think we're going to be doing a lot here when it comes to players in and players out. We're looking at 57,000 capacity stadium. It's amazing. Excellent training facilities, great youth facilities, average youth recruitment. Let's try and knock that up because I want to maybe get the youth kids in like we had at St Etienne. As you can see, our trophy hall, the Champions League, beautiful, shiny thing. Right, so the board want us to play attacking football. I like the way we play football. I like the 4-2-2-2. Two, two, two. They're going to go attacking. Let's give Chile Nips a run out, but let's give it a bit of spice. And we're chucking an attacking midfielder there and see if that DM can do all of the defending well. Now, we are predicted first, so that's why I'm really looking to bully them. We may swap this up when we get promoted as we should. The team looks really good. First choice goalkeeper, Daniel Hoyer Fernandez. Look at him. Really good reflexes. He's he's a bit of a beast. A bit old, but for goalkeeper, you know, that's not that old. Really good defenders, but the pick of the bunch, Sebastian Schonlau, lacking pace, but brings ball out of the defense. Got great leadership, great composure, so he's not going to, you know, flap at it if he gets pressed. So he's he should be good. Yeah, we've got quite a few good defensive midfielders, but again, the pick of the bunch here is Jonas Meffert. We we're talking second division Germany, even though they are predicted to win it. it. It's still, they are looking solid across the board. Attackers really like the look of Ransford, Yeboa, Konigs de Dorfer. What a name. He's rapid. He's got some really good technicals here. Decent mentals, but he's only 20 and he's already capped for Garner. So I think he is going to be one for us to try and hold on to and see how he develops throughout this rebuild. I mean, he's so fast. He makes fast people look not fast. Another African pace merchant, the Gambian Bakary Jatter. That's an, an amazing name. He is also rapid, knocks the ball past opponents. He's kind of all or nothing. Got like, you know, terrible decisions, but amazing determination. Really good bravery, not good composure. So he'll dive in there with determination, but he might fluff it because he's got no composure. So we'll see how he gets on. But I think he'll be good, especially at this level. We've got a target forward in Robert Glatzel. He's very strong, great jumping reach. He's six foot four. He's powerful. Good head in, really good mentals. I think he'll chomp it up in this division. Ideally get promoted and then probably sell him on, to be honest. We need, we need more pace. But he's not, he's not slow, but he's it's going to catch up on him very quickly. And the player I'm very excited about is the advance forward in Andras Nemeth, the Hungarian international, only 20 years old. Someone else to watch out for when it looks to the future of this save within five seasons, how well he is going to develop. We are starting the game with a load of injuries. You know, we've got Mario Vuskovic. Look how good he is. Only 21-year-old Croatian Player-wise, I don't think we're going to try and bring anyone in. Maybe one or two people. I'm going to have a quick check out and see if we do bring anyone in. Due to the amount of injuries that we have in the first team, I've had a quick look in our development squad. And look at this kid. We've got Nicholas Oliveira, a very versatile 19-year-old German defender. I think he's more than good enough to start in our team or at least get on the bench. Bit of a squad player, so he's, get, he's getting promoted. Same goes for another defensive player in William Mickelbrensey. What a name. The 19-year-old Frenchman, I, he, he's got great physicals. He tries to play his way out of trouble. I really like him. He definitely should be in the first team squad as well. So we're going to have a quick look in the transfer window, see if there's any bargains that we need. But ultimately, I probably will save our money. But I'll just give me one second and we'll see who we can find. As I said, I didn't want to spend any money and we haven't. We just got in the free services of Anwar El Ghazi, the former Aston Villa and PSV man. He's still only 28 years old. He's only asking for £20,000 a week. He plays both wings if necessary. He can also play the attacking midfielder role. He can also maybe play up front, but he is much, much better. Really good flair, just generally a very good player. This is how I see the team lining up, although it's a toss between Ramos and Ambrosius. It, we've got Fernandez in net, Heyer, Sean Lau, Ambrosius, 
Munheim, Meffert, Konsdorfer, Peroni, Nemeth, Glatzi, Glatzel, and El Ghazi. If you look at the preseason, we are odds on favourites to go up as champions as well. We have changed the tactic, as I say, to a 4 1 five we're going for it we're going all out for the attack we're going all out to be league champions let's see if we can do it in the first season of asking i'll catch you in a minute hamburg are once again a bundesliga team we absolutely smashed it we only lost five games we drew eight that's quite high 38 goal difference 71 points miles away from second and third Really, really well done. If you look over here, you really do see the dominance of what we had. We've got two out of the three top goal scorers. Assists, 12, thanks to Vander. Absolutely smashed it. Glaxel won five Man of the Matches. And Shithouse FC is our rebuild. It is our mantra. It is our modus operandi. And we've absolutely smashed it. Top three. Hard hitters in the league. You're cheating. Number wise, 22 goals for Nemeth and Glassell, both a piece. I think that's in, in all competitions. Emmanuel Farrell also got himself 17 goals and seven assists. And they were kind of all the top end of goals. When it comes to assists, I say Van der Bremt took the plaudits as Jatta and Nemeth also got themselves eight a piece. Oh, is he on loan? Oh, Brian on loan. He's on loan from Salzburg. Oh would really like to sign him. In other news, we did make it to the semi-finals of the Pockle. That's good. We did get absolutely destroyed by Wolfsburg, however. Ooh, that's bad. Youth candidate-wise, I mean, we got a lot. None of them are really, really, really good. The transfer budget is abysmal. We've got £688,000 to spend. However, we do have £226,000 to spend in the wages. So I'm going to dip into the free transfer market. It's the first year back into the big league. So we're not going to have a lot of financial might behind us. I'll catch you in a minute. Straight into your transfers. We got rid of Bilal Yalchinkaya. Yeah, nailed that one. Uh, for about just under a million pounds. Never heard of him. Never played him. I... Eintracht Frankfurt wanted him. Off you pop. We've changed the formation, so we'll no longer have space for Jean-Luc Dompe. He has gone to Troyes, sold him for 4.4 million. It's quite a good amount of money for a 28-year-old. I was uh, quite happy with that. He's going to be reinvested. Similar story is for Bakary Jatta, sold him for 6.5 million pounds. He's not ideal. He's not that good. He earned himself £180,000. Oh, my God. Imagine being this average and getting paid that much. We've been quite shrewd. And the first bit of business is we brought in Liam Cullen for free. Only £15,000 a week that he wants. Really good cover. You can also play attacking midfielder, which is going to be part of our new formation. We are going to revive Dele Alli's career. He is still only 28 years old. He's got 37 caps for England in three goals. He's got 18 natural fitness, so he can pretty much be in our team for as long as he wants. He's got great stats, good flair, good traits as well. Gets forward whenever possible, winds up opponents, and tries to play his way out of trouble, and tries tricks. He's a good player, and I want to... Again, revive his career. Let's go, Delhi. For £3.3 .3 million, we brought in the services of Jafet Tanganga from Spurs. He's a very, very good player. We, I'm very happy with him. Wide centre-back, and he will be playing as wide centre-back. He's going to be pushing up and being part of that attacking role as well. He is going to be fantastic. And another young German striker, not Viper this time, for those who know. And we've gone this time with Tim Lampel. He cost us £5 million a bit of money, but he's got a lot of stats. If he adds a couple of more numbers on, he's going to be fantastic. Good pace. He is going to be a very good advance forward. Now, with these transfers, we are favourites to land into the playoffs. I do think we'll have enough to not go into the playoffs. We are playing a new formation. We're going to be playing five at the back, three at the back. Don't know what you call it. We're going to be playing two wide centre-backs, three at the back, and it'll be Fernandez, Tanganga, Ramos, and Brucey. Munheim, Meffert, Oliveira, Beans, Ali, Glatzel, Nemeth. Probably not Glatzel, though. You know, now Lampel's here. He will step up, so that'll be the way forward. Not quite sure of the formation. We'll see how that plays out. We may jump in midway through and make a few changes, a few tweaks. But let's see how we get on. Like, share, and subscribe. The channel is slowly blowing up, and I really do appreciate every one of you that's watching. Can we maintain our Bundesliga status? I'll see you in a minute. Predicted 16th. Ha! We came 12th, mate. Nowhere near it. I mean, six points away, but goal difference aside and everything like that, we had a good run of it. So in regards to second season, 
12th finish, we'll take that. Borussia Dortmund pipping Bayern Munich. By, they absolutely smashed it. Only lost one game all year. Stuttgart. As you'd expect, none of our players... We, did we do anything this season? We were not the goal scorers, not the best players, nor the assisters, nor one of the matches, no clean sheets. And this is the biggest disappointment. I don't think we've ever had a season where I didn't... where we weren't the shithouses. So that's very disappointing. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves! Now, I've just gone on the player's stats. One thing I will notice is that Deli Ali only played eight games. Delhi, what happened? What happened, Delhi? Tell me. Tell me, tell me, tell me, because you're on a lot of money and I had kind of high hopes. But if we look at the goals, this is the problem. The tactic is not generating enough when it comes to clearly chances. Only 10 goal 10 is our top goal scorer. And that was Glatzel again. Tim Lamperl got seven. Seven goals and seven assists. For Perai, 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 I'm going to call him. Our best player was Nicholas Oliveira, who is our fullback, I believe. Who's also wanted by Hanover. Hmm. Ultimately disappointing. I am going to reimagine this tactic. We may, yeah, we may have to make some changes. It didn't get much better in the buckle. We also were knocked out in the second round by Werner Bremen, to be fair. And pfft, they did absolutely annihilate us. 3 0. Wasn't even close. Hold, hold the foe. Hold the line. <laughs> Shit! Look at this for a youth intake. We have got. I'm leaving this Vanderson kid to last. We've got. What on earth is that? What are those O's? K Conan, Conan Dumerov. He's okay. He's 15. You look about 50. I mean, were you riding to Germany from Azerbaijan on a daily basis? Was that your paper round? Torsten Sicker. Cool, cool name. Mm, he's okay. He's okay. I mean, these are these are meant to be our elites. We've also got David Horshig. Mm -hmm. no, but I want a drum roll. I might add one in, I don't know. Look at three-star ability. <laughs> oh my god. Vanderson, you are officially the best youth kid I have had on Football Manager 24. He's got 16 first touch, 14 passing, 15 vision, 16 technique, 12 tackling. Runs with the ball through the center, comes deep to get the ball. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm snapping you up right now. Finances are looking very, very good. Oh, we had the worst defense. It's all right. I just clocked here. We got no goal scored and the, the worst defense in the league. Uh, so we definitely need to change that up. This right we've got £9 million with 55k, so a lot to play with on that. So now I'm now going to dip into the transfer window. We're going to switch the tactic up a little bit, maybe drop a defender and just go back to four at the back. I'll have to see. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so transfers out. We say goodbye to Anwar El Ghazi. It didn't last long. He played 20 matches and scored two goals, so not... Not the greatest of returns, but we've got him off the wages. We're not playing with wingers anymore. So, yeah, yeah, he had to go. Wasn't playing to my standard. And he also started being a little bit of a whiny bitch. So, see you later, Anwar. And we sold Kai Norman Gerland, kind of out of my hands, uh, to Wolfsburg for about 200k. Could rise to 650. I mean, it's a bit of a nothing transfer, but making money on the youth can't be a bad thing. We sold Levin Oztonali to... Maritimo, he's all right, but he, he just didn't play in the position that we wanted to. Didn't really get much game time and get him off the wages. And the biggest transfer, and it does make me sad because I do like Ransford, Yaboa, Koningsdorfer, but if I have to say it again, we don't play wingers. He, he is very versatile and he is young, but, you know, we want to give him his game time. He was quite a good servant, 13 goals. So, you know, we wish him all the best as he got, goes to Cadiz. Sold him for 3.4 million, so... Good, good return on money for us at this point. You know, if Man City are going to keep throwing him away, I'm going to keep buying him. Tommy Doyle, he was absolutely amazing for us with St Etienne. And we also sold him for a very tidy profit. He is going to be our defensive midfielder on support, being that pivot. And he's... Yeah, we all know how good he is. If we haven't watched, if you haven't watched the video, go watch the video. Another Man City player is the 24-year-old Burkina Faso international Issa Kabore. He is a rapid wing back. He is gonna be bombing it down the right hand side, as his player trait suggests. He was only three and a half million pounds, and that, that's the last of the Man City players that we've got, I promise. But he's he looks amazing, and I'll be very, very hard pressed to think he won't be a good player for us. I didn't really imagine the Premier League to be like a, a stomping ground for take players but Luke McNally became available for only 4.2 million pounds his physicals are insane he likes to play his way out of trouble he brings the ball out of defense 
He is a perfect ball playing or wide centre back. So he is going to be showing up our defence. We had the worst defence last year. And last but no means least, Johannes Eggstein. He's capped for under 21s with Germany. He was free of charge. He's a good pressing or advanced forward. And that is going to be very important to us. This is the new Chills Down My Spine version one is what I've called it. That's lean. I know. But flat back four and the two DMs, they, they, they seem to be the best way to go forward. But we've got an advanced playmaker on support and the three strikers. I want to attack. I want to do amazing is what I'm looking to do. I want to score loads of goals, but also have a bit of a defensive base. So we've got two pressing forwards and an advanced forward on attack. Everyone's always on tackle harder. This is probably going to be the lineup. Fernandez, Kabori, McNally, Tanganga, Mulheim, Doyle, Shonjlau, Parai, Glatzel, Lamparol, and Cullen. Tied a few players down with contracts. We've got quite a big and young team, so that's very, very good for us. Season preview with the players signed. We have gone nowhere. We are predicted again to finish into the relegation playoff. So ugh, I would like to think with the new tactic and the players that we've added, we can be around here. We've got plenty of money to spend still, but there's no one else out there that I feel like would add a lot of quality to the team. So I'm going to leave it as it is. I'm going to see, can we break in to a European spot? That'll be an amazing season. I want a good run in the pockle. Let's see how we get on. Some people say I'm a genius. I say I'm a humble genius. We came forth. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. We came forth. Champions League. Champions League in three seasons. Come on, you hamburgers. I'm absolutely chuffed to bits. Lamparol has got himself 19 goals, equaling Fulkrug of Dortmund. Look how good he is. I mean, he can't run, but look how good he is, everything else. So Lamparol, the young lad, he's done absolutely sensational. Well done to you, kid. Leroy Sane is consistently the best player in the league, and I'm not surprised. Miro Muheim also got second place in the assists, bombing up and down that left-hand side. No other mentions, apart from Mortiz Heyer got himself 12 yellow cards. So well done to you, shithouse of the year. You can be very proud of yourself. As well as we did in the league, we did outrageously bad in the pockle. We got knocked out in the first round by Car Carl Schert from the Bundesliga 2. From the Bundesliga 2. So goals, Temporal got 19 in the league. Glass of 14. Cullen got 13. Parai got 11, and then they're falling off like a cliff. But those five players there really getting it, banging us in the goals. Assists, Munai, Muhammad, as we know, got 12, and then eight apiece for Cullen and Parai. Six for Kabore. Top performer was Parai with a 7.37, followed closely by Muhaim, and then closely by Cullen. Really well done to you, sir. Thank you very much. Oh, I tell you what, Delhi Ali hasn't done anything, he's done nothing. I mean, the AI isn't playing him, but he's done absolutely nothing. He is surplus to requirements. You know what? We are going to transfer this to straight away. Bye. Have a beautiful time. On Vanderson watch, he's he's not developing as much as I was hoping he would. I mean, he's still very good, but I thought these would all start rocketing up. And the most exciting part going into our fourth season is the transfer budget. Champions League money has arrived. £30.8 million to splash about with 40k to play with in the wages. What that means is we can go splash the cash. And move some players out, get some more players in, see if we can cut off some of the dead weight and get some real quality, especially in them tacking areas, to boost us forward. Thank you for supporting me this far. Like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you in a minute. Robert Glatzel left us. He's 32 years old. We had an offer come in of £8 million to Augsburg. See you later, mate. We've got some young blood coming in. Also, disappointed to lose, but inevitable. Mick and Brentis, he wanted to leave at the end of the day. He wouldn't sign a new contract with me. He's young, quite versatile. I quite liked him, but he wasn't getting the game time for us, so... Fair enough. We did spend money. Starting our boxing very clever here. We brought in Kaya Jorge from Juventus for just £300,000. He's a really good pressing forward and a really good advance forward. So that front three that we have, that partnership, he should fit in there really well. He is gonna, he's got great determination, great off the ball, decent physicals. He's, he's going to be a really good addition to what we're working at here. My personal favourite signing is another striker, Tareem Moffi. From Nice, he cost us just five million pounds. I don't know why we want to get rid of him. He is an uh, the definition of a tank. He's rapid. He is powerful. He hits the ball with power. 
He's got great finishing, good composure, and good everything, good all round as well. So I think he's going to be a beast. But just for four and a half million pounds, we signed the Argentinian Aaron Molinas from Defensa Judicia. Justicia. He's uh, yeah, really good. I don't think he's quite good to start, but he's a very good upgrade on the bench. He is made to be an advanced playmaker on support. If you look here, nothing lower than a 14. So I think he'll be very, very good for us. And last, but by no means least, we have managed to get Dennis Seaman. Simon? Seaman from Stuttgart. He is an official wonder kid. He's got amazing reach, one-on-ones and rushing out, good reflexes. That's all going to improve. He's, an, he's the star of the show. He's an absolute beast. He's on the most money in the club, £63,000. We need a new goalkeeper, and he is going to slot into that number one spot nicely. And with these major transfer moves, we have rocketed up the league to 11th. I mean, we did finish 4th, and they've given us 11th, but... Yep, that's fine. We'll, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. So here we go into the penultimate season. We've got a bigger squad because we're into three competitions this time. The Pockle, the Champions League and the Bundesliga. We need to be able to maintain our top four status now. Anything lower than that would not be a success. I'd love to try and win the Pockle. Get really far and deep into the Champions League. Let's see how we get on. The Champions League's proven a step too far for us at the moment. That has really put a strain on our league position. We did get European football, Europa Conference League. Disgusting! I mean, let's be honest, we were in the mix for Champions League. We came seventh, four points off Champions League. So, you know, give or take a few, you know, a couple wins here. We could have done a lot better. Some results here. We lost 6-5 to Wolfsburg. We lost 7-1 to Leipzig. Oh, Christ, this tactic's all or nothing, isn't it? We didn't really get involved at all. None of the top goal scorers are us. None of the best players are us. Muheim loves an assist, so he's consistently giving us those uh, double digits. None of the man of the matches were ours. None of the clean sheets were ours. However, <laughs> the boys, all three of the hardest hitters in the league are us. Tommy Doyle, Sean Lau, and Muheim. Respect. You, Respect. In the Champions League, we did make it out of the league. However, we did get knocked out by Atletico Madrid. I mean, how did we get on? 7-3. Comprehensive. But it is Atletico Madrid in there. And very, very good team, obviously. We disappointingly got knocked out of the third round of the Pockle. It was, a comp again, 3-0. Hammering. Deserved it. Right, by the numbers, uh, Caio Jorge it was the top goal scorer by a margin. 24 goals. Well done, you. 18 for Lamparol, 16 for Moffi on his debut season, 12 for Cullen, and 11 for Monolas. The assist, as we know, Muheim loves it. He got 15 in all competitions. Tommy Doyle got himself 12. Uh, Kabore got 10. No goals, weirdly. Nine for Monolas, and then the rest of them are all spread out. Best player of the year goes to Kyle Jorge and follows very closely by Liam Cullen. Go on, lad. Youth candidates. We have been given one elite talent, Miguel Luna. Reveal yourself. This guy's our elite talent. <laughs> However, in other news, Vanderson has come on extremely well. He is worth a hell of a lot of money. Do we cash in on him? Do we cash in on him? I'm not sure. Well, I'll have a think on that. Due to our high league finishes, we have managed to get, in this last season, a war chest, by our standards, £47.5 million to spend in transfers. But not just that, £425,000 in the wage budget. So we can really go at it. I'm going to aim to bring in some world-class talent to really boost our chances of winning a cup this season, getting back to the Champions League. Ideally a title challenge, but that might be a stretch too far. I'll catch you in a minute. F's in the comments, boys, because Andras Nemeth has left us. 26 goals in 61 games for Hamburg, for the Berg. Yeah, he wanted to leave. I didn't want to give him loads of money. He is young, but he didn't really develop, so he's left on a free. We wish him all the best. Same to Sebastian Schonlau. He is 32, however. He can't run anymore. His legs have fallen off, so he's crawled his way over to FC Colne. And again, well wishes sent along with his shiny, shiny forehead. But nothing other than utility and to cover all bases, Anderson Araro cost us 2.8 million from Empoli. He can just play all across the back three positions. So he's a right back, centre back and left back. We're in a lot of competitions. The Champions League to get out of this and we're also in the Europa League conference this year. So I want to make sure we had enough people in the squad. For £10 million, we brought in the Leicester flop 
Patson Dacker. I like him. I think on this game, I think he's got a lot of great traits, including his pace, determination, finishing, and composure. He plays short, simple passes. He plays his shots, comes deep to get the ball, knocks the ball past opponents. I think it'll be a very good advance forward for us. I couldn't believe my eyes when Harvey Elliott, this version of Harvey Elliott, was available from Liverpool for just £22.5 million. Pounds. I'm going to train him, as you can see, badly at the moment to be our defensive midfielder. He is absolutely incredible. Still only 24. I think he's going to be a legend for the Berg. For £26 million, pounds, we brought in the services of Abakar Silla from Newcastle. He only played six games for them, and I don't know why, because he is the definition of a tank. He is a tank, a balrog of a human being. He's got good technicals as well. Nothing spectacular on the technicals, but they're all good. But he's got solid physicals and amazing mentals. I think it'd be a great addition. Welcome, everyone. Simone Pafundi, who has come from Udinese for just £48 million. Pounds. We've stretched the budget. We've gone beyond our budget a little bit. I've got nothing left. He's one of the best attacking midfielders in the game at this moment in time. He is still only 21. He's got 17 goals and 17 appearances for Italy. He is a superstar. He is our superstar. And this is going to have to get us towards challenging for a title. It's going to have to. Now, the game doesn't think we're going to be challenging for a title, but it does think that we're going to make top eight. We are in and amongst it. And I think top four kind of has to be our sort of minimum target top four at this point. So we're in and amongst Stuttgart, Wolfsburg, Frankfurt. I think we'd do one better. I think we uh I think we go top top two. I'm just, I'm calling it now top two. You are deluded. Seaman, Kabore, McNally, Silla, Munheim, Doyle, Elliott, Pafundi, Daka, Moffi, and Kaya Jorge. Our last season, our last opportunity to bring some silverware. The Europa Conference League is very winnable. The German Cup is also very winnable. And a top two finish. Ambitious. But we'll see how we get on. I'll catch you in a minute. All the money invested after all the time and spent here in Hamburg, we achieved absolutely nothing. We came fourth, which again is Champions League football. You know, so I'm not going to be that upset. Your Champions League football for us at the beginning of when we started is a very good achievement. And I think because maybe we went in it quite early in our journey that we kind of maintained it is not sort of where we wanted to be. But nonetheless... We made Champions League football. It's very good. Openda did really well, equal with Fad Kajavan. And Harry Kane, how old are you now, mate? 34. Nothing of I mean, it's the Openda show. Benjamin Sheshka, what are you looking like? An absolute beast. However, two out of three ain't bad. Tommy Doyle equaling Arnold's yellow cards, 13 apiece. So well done to you. The Europa Conference League, we made it to the semi final. We lost 4 5 to Getafe which is heartbreaking because look at that 4-5. So we were in there with a lead and we got absolutely smashed at home as well. That's just oh, heart-wrenching. And it didn't get better in the pockle. We got knocked over the third round, 3-2. Narrow, the narrowest of margins in this rebuild, I tell you. For Fundy, our best player, 7.29. Absolutely amazing. 18 goals and 8 assists. Liam Cullen, 21 goals and 7 assists. Check him out. 15 goals and 8 assists for Lamperol. The assist kings were Oliveira and Muheim and Doyle and Profundi, as we mentioned. So a good spread amongst the team. The youth candidates, we got one this year. Andreas Eppel. And he's, yeah, we kind of peaked, didn't we, in the first season. Vanderson is now 18 years old, and I think he would now be ready for first team football. He's a bit of a monster. He's worth 30 to 40 million. So at least we're leaving him in good hands in that regard. So there you go. We are now leaving Hamburg an established Champions League regular. Fortunately, we didn't win silverware. I think it's one of the few saves that we have not won silverware. So I'm quite disappointed in that. But if you made it this far, thank you very much. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We're cracking on. Again, a lot of comments, but just comment who you want me to do next. Do you want me to do your team? Do you want me to do a fallen giant? Do you want me to do a lower league, different country? Let me know. Comment below. I might read it. I probably won't. I definitely will. I've got nothing better to do. Thank you for watching and take care.